You'll be playing. Okay, first step here is your color wheel, right? So it's pretty obvious, I've, I even wrote it down. So you're gonna paint this little triangle red, this little triangle blue, and this little triangle yellow. I'm gonna use whatever red I gave you, not a lizard crimson, but your real red, and your ultramarine blue. And these are called, what are these called? Primary Yeah, exactly. And you know why they're called primary colors? Because no other color can, can make them up. Exactly. You all are so smart. <laughs> probably should have started with yellow actually. Right, that makes sense. Yellow triangle. I'm gonna clean my brush really, really good. And yellow. And then I'm gonna paint my blue triangle. And we're using ultramarine. Does anybody know who invented the color wheel? What's it's the other color of the wheel? Thalo, oh, yeah. and it's a very Thalo. cool, yeah. it's like a green blue. Very strong I'm color. Yeah. <laughs> I'm painting my life. Okay, so the next colors we're gonna mix are called secondary colors, right? Mm -hmm. And why are they called secondary colors? Because they use two colors to make them. Right, so the secondary colors go in the middle, so we're gonna mix red and yellow. We're gonna get orange. orange. Then we're gonna mix red and blue, we're gonna get Purple. And then we're going to mix blue and yellow and get green. green. So after you mix your red and your yellow, paint it on here, but leave your stacks. Don't, don't, don't destroy these little stacks of paint because then we're going to mix tertiary so colors. To yeah, use your palette knife okay. and pick up your yellow. And remember when you use a palette knife, how you use it, because this is good practice. It's like you're frosting a cake, right? You mix it like back, of a, like a, with the back, like you're frosting a cake. And everybody's it's even, right? 50-50. Uh, it depends. Everybody's is going to be a little different because it depends on, like, I have a little pot of red that's two reds. I just kind of mix together. Okay. So mix it until it's an orange that you like. And then leave that little pot of color on your palette. Paint your little triangle. And we'll do all that for all the secondary colors. Your purple pot's like way, way, way too dark that you can't see the color. Just put a tiny little bit of white in it. white spots that are left. You know what guys know what those are called? Tertiary. Yeah, that's right. Tertiary colors. And you know why they're called tertiary colors? They're the third. <laughs> yes. And they're made up of the primary color and the secondary color that's next to it. That's why we left our pots. So we're going to take red and mix it into the orange and make a red orange. We'll take yellow, mix it into the orange and make a yellow orange, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And don't mix up your whole pot. Just pull off half of your pot, right? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you want to save half of it. Take off half of it and make put more red in it. And then you'll have an orange red. and make sure that your like orange red is more red than your orange, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this one like a yellow orange. Pretty. Take my green pot and I'm gonna put a little yellow mm -hmm. in it. Really too dark. 
bluey, yellow, blue, green, that one. I noticed that my green is not yellow enough, so I'm putting a little more yellow on top of it. of all this is so all the time when we're working and you're like oh uh, you know you're painting something blue and you want to make it gray what do I always tell you to do uh, uh, orange orange yes <laughs> so we put the op we mix the opposite colors together called complementary colors if you put opposite colors first off you put them next to each other they make each other pop so if you ever like if you're doing a theme for a painting if you do blue and orange, red and green, yellow and purple. It's just gonna naturally have a nice pop to it. But if you mix these two together, then they neutralize each other. So if you're ever painting red and it's too red, then you put green in it to dull it down. Mm -hmm. At the same time though, there's so many times like when we're mixing colors where you're like, okay, I have green, but I want it to be a little on the cooler or the warmer side. So if you want it to go a little bit warmer, see these are the warm colors here. You can put a little yellow on it and arguably a little bit of a yellow or warmer green. If you want it to go cooler, then you can just step one side over to the cooler side and put a little blue on it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Same thing with purple. Like to me, if I'm making purple and I'm like, oh, I want a purple that's a little warmer, I can put a little red in it. Mm -hmm. If I want purple that's a little cooler, I can put a little blue in it. I'm just going to make up three grays really quick. So we're going to mix red and green and put a little spot of it right here. And then we're gonna mix yellow and orange, or blue and orange, and have a little spot of it, and yellow and purple. Did I say yellow and purple yet? No. Red and green, yellow and purple, blue and orange, just so we can kind of see the different grays that you can get, because we, gray is always a good thing. Actually, let's mix them on here. Let's do red and green on here and put a little white in it right in your. And does it matter pure red, pure green? Yeah, I mean, you know, you just what it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter a whole lot. So everybody will end up with a little different shape, right? Yeah, of course. So I'm, I'm going to mix red and green. I'm going to take a little bit of my white and put in it. My red and green gray here. First was red and green. I'm gonna write R plus G, write blue and orange. And the last one will be purple. Blue and orange, yeah. Blue and orange, okay. Purple and yellow, those are complementary colors. Blue and orange. Yellow and purple. Oh, okay. Right? Yellow yep. and purple. Yep. Uh, do you want us to put white in all of them? Yeah. 